Triple Threat Wrestling Radio's 100th show, I believe I'm joined with Sassy Steffi. You would be correct. Hey, what's going on? Oh, nothing. Just packing for vacation. Well, uh, I, I appreciate you um, taking time prior to your vacation and joining me on this occasion. That is the 100th show. Uh, thank you for being on. Of course, anytime. You know, I'm if I'm available. I'm more than willing to come on. Well, let's go ahead and uh, begin. Um, first time I interview you, we focus on your your wrestling career. Um, this time around, I want to focus on your WSU days, and uh, you currently one half of the tag team champions, one third of Midwest Militia with Allison K and Jessica Havoc the most dominant female wrestling group in all of wrestling right now. Um, I mean, how do you feel in, you know, with all the championships y'all have and the dominance y'all have done on WSU? How are y'all feeling about what y'all have done and accomplished thus far? Well, I mean, to first off be able to go out and perform with two of my best friends, in wrestling and in life in general. I mean, that's probably the best part of being in the Midwest militia. Um, you know, Allison and Jessica are, uh, and I are friends outside of wrestling. It's not just in the ring. And to go out and be able to dominate the way that we do with, you know, having the friendship as well, it's really reassuring and, you know, it really puts, I think, a confidence in us because, we know each other inside and outside of the ring that, it, you know, we know that we can rely on one another. It's not like, hey, this person's my tag partner, but they live across the, the country and whatever. You know, I know I can trust these girls. They know they can trust me. And I think that's really a lot of what makes us so successful is that we actually are based in, you know, people are like, oh, well, how did the Midwest militia, you know, form? Like, how did that happen? I'm like, we were three people coming from the Midwest going to WSU. We were alienated by the girls. So, I mean, obviously we were pushed together already. Not pushed together. I mean, we were put together, driving together. We were already friends prior to that. And then just with those girls being, you know, vicious towards us as far as, like, you know, we're not going to give you a place to stay or, you know, we're all clicky in the locker room. I mean, that just reinforced why, you know, we are who we are at WSU. I mean, they kind of, you know, brought it upon themselves, I guess you could say. You know, obviously, WSU mostly focused on the northern, eastern part of the United States. And to see you, Jessica, and Allison from the Midwest come in and, and not only perform well, but pretty much have every single championship, I mean, that's saying something, like, Absolutely. And like I said, you know, the WSU girls pretty much brought it on themselves. Like, I mean, a lot of people talk about war games and how it was Team WSU versus the Midwest Militia. Well, you know, that even though it might have been our idea to go as far as the uh, war games, that was something that happened because these girls alienated us. They were in their little clique and you know, we're not going to talk to the Midwest girls because they don't belong here because they're from somewhere else. Well, I live in Ohio. I lived in Columbus for about four years. I lived in Cincinnati for about seven years. You know, I, I, and I have paid attention to the Cleveland moments, and it's, 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 it's tough. Uh, and, you know, I, I, I hope... Cleveland will finally get that championship. I mean, unless you want to count the Miz. I mean, he was WWE champion. He's Cleveland, I guess. But um, Well, I mean, a, a lot of people don't even realize that there's a lot more guys from Cleveland than just the Miz. They yeah. just don't kind of state that in their stats. But Dolph Ziggler, hailing from Hollywood, Florida, is actually from Lakewood, which is a suburb of Cleveland. Um. And, you know, just to go through the whole state, uh, Dean Ambrose is from Cincinnati. Um, Madison Rain is from the central Ohio area. I mean, there's a lot of great, not only sports talent as far as, like, NBA, NFL that come from this area. There's a lot of great wrestling talent that is 
space here in Ohio, and it's amazing. Um, I mean, HWA down in Cincinnati up to, you know, Cleveland, where there's just a variety of different promotions there. And, I mean, there's so much talent in Ohio that I don't think people realize. And then, you know, you obviously in wrestling never necessarily get where these people really are coming from unless you really, you know, do your homework. But there's so much talent. And, you know, it's kind of awesome when I'll see somebody tweet something like, they're just awesome wrestlers from Ohio, and they'll say so-and-so, so-and-so. And it lists, lists like me and Jessica. And I'm like, wow, we're not even on the same, you know, TV level as a Madison Rain, um, a Dolph Ziggler, a Miz, Dean Ambrose, but yet we're being mentioned in that same category because people respect us as wrestlers. It's really awesome. As a, as a, a former Ohio resident, I'm proud of you all just to see y'all <laughs> getting y'all shine. I mean, I live in Kentucky, and I like Kentucky, but – I love Ohio, and I and I miss it dearly. Uh, I, I I wish I can come back, and, and make new memories there. You know, uh, I definitely miss Ohio so much. What are some w- upcoming wrestling shows you have coming up there, Steffi? Uh well, this weekend I'm on vacation, but next weekend I will be at Sensatal up in Montreal, in Canada, and then the week after that is WrestleMania weekend. Then the weekend after that is Shimmer. Um, after that, I have a match. Um, it's like southeast of Pittsburgh, um, which is going to be a hardcore match um, with a girl who's up and coming in the business named Darcy Dixon. And if anybody's familiar with Resistance Pro, she is um, just she's learning leaps and bounds, and she's doing amazing out there in Chicago for Resistance. Um, and then the week after that, which would take me to the end of April, I will be wrestling Christina Von Erie for Remix, uh, Remix Pro down in Marietta, Ohio. So I'm going to be bouncing all over the place. So it's going to be pretty awesome. And to all the listeners out there, you can follow Steffi on Twitter at Sassy Steffi. Uh, be on the lookout for the upcoming shows, as she mentioned. Um, I got off the phone with Leva Bates earlier, and she's, I believe she's going to be a shimmer as well on what right around that time. So, um, um, right. And Leva, I, I cannot say enough good words about Leva. She's one of those people that you meet and you never forget. Like she's such a sweetheart and what you see in the ring is exactly what you get in person as well. She's such an amazing person. She's she definitely had the bubbly personality, and I just admire—I just admire her. Um, and it's not just her outfits per se; it's it's her wrestling ability and her fighting spirit. Like she's gonna give, well, she's gonna give it all she got. Right, and that's one thing. Like, I don't know for me personally. Like, I think more people look at Leva for her costumes and what she's gonna come out with next than her actual wrestling talent. But I mean, she is phenomenal in the ring i've seen her have some really outstanding matches with outstanding people and i mean that just you know a lot of people say you're only as good as your opponent and you know i think that speaks a lot for leva because she just constantly goes out and has great matches and like i said i can't say enough good things about leva she's one of my favorite people in the wrestling business so uh steffi you also mentioned that you You've been doing some broadcasting, I, I noticed. You did a show, I think it was uh, last year or something like that. Uh, I know, you, obviously, that's something you, you want to do at, at some point, but do you consider yourself maybe being like a announcer, like an analyst, commentator in wrestling when your wrestling career is all set and done? Is that something you consider doing once your career is over as a wrestler? Yeah. Yeah, you know, I would like to do commentary, but really, um, I'm really fond of, like, backstage production. Um, For example, today, I did, um, and for people who don't understand, this is going to be kind of over their head, so I'll kind of explain this as as simple as I can. I did a TEDx talk, which is, um, it was at the Cleveland Art Museum, and what it is, is it's an event that inspires entertainment, uh, design, and 
it's just it's amazing. And you have all these different speakers who come out and they have about a fifteen minute speech talking about different things in art and um design and entertainment and it's very it's awesome. If you can look up TED Talks, there's I'm guarantee you'll find something that you'll find very entertaining. Um but I was um back in the back portion when the video feed comes in live, it goes on this particular system to a TriCaster. And I was on a TriCaster doing the technical directing, and I had the director telling me what camera shot he wanted next, and I would just punch in the buttons and, you know, crossfade and all of that kind of good jazz. And I love that whole aspect of the production, the live side of it, and clicking to different you know, and I could do my own directing, but, you know, they happen to hire their own director, which is fine. I can take direction as well. And it was just, it was so much fun. Like, it's living the dream for me to just sit there and play at, you know, the TriCaster or different, uh, you know, boards and be able to, you know, see what's going on creatively on stage and being able to take my own shots and figure out what I want creatively as a vision to go out to the viewers. Well, check you out there, Miss Sassy. <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, a lot of people, you know, they don't get the opportunity to, you know, experience so many different things in their life. You know, I get to live the dream by doing, you know, wrestling all the, you know, not all the time, not every day or anything like that. But I get to, you know, go out and see the world and wrestle and have a blast doing that. But I also get to go out and see the world and do it from behind the camera doing production as well. Uh, last fall, I did um, an event called Fireball Run, which is a uh, car rally, not a race. Um, and it was a nine-day journey, and I broadcasted that anywhere from three to five shows a day live on their Internet stream. But it's also being filmed by a um, film crew who is now in post-production working on putting that together for the DD that will be released in October. Uh, last year's event and it's really cool and I've always like I mean I can't explain like I love traveling I love being able to be a part of you know the production side of things as well and I love being in front of the camera basically I'm a jack of all trades when it comes to this media thing out in the world <laughs> but I did like you said last year I had my own radio show so I mean I can pretty much do anything I think or if I can't do it give me a couple minutes and I'll figure it out Hey, hey, you, you an Ohio girl. They, Ohio people, they, they get it done. They get the mm, job done. Exactly. They get it done. So. And people don't realize what a hotbed this is for entertainment. I mean, um, coming up this spring, we have um, just one of a few that I can name of um, blockbuster movies coming to film in Cleveland, like Captain America: The Next, um, The Winter Soldier. I think is the name of this one. You know, it's coming to Cleveland to film. I mean, there's so much entertainment here just in Cleveland that people don't realize. And they're like, oh, well, you do movies in Cleveland? Yes, I do. Trust me, there's lots of things that come here. Avengers was here, you know, just uh, two or three years ago when they were filming, and they were also in Cleveland, so. That is awesome. That is absolutely awesome. Um, You know, you... you accomplished a lot throughout your career in, in, in wrestling world and you have a uh, sky's the limit for you going forward um what's what's left for you to accomplish in your wrestling well i mean like you said pretty much the sky is the limit um you know anywhere you know i basically m my biggest goal right now is i want to wrestle in all 50 states i think i'm somewhere around 14 or 15 right now um but pretty much anywhere from the Mississippi River over to uh, Las Vegas is empty. There's, <laughs> I've not wrestled in, like, Nebraska or Wisconsin or, well, I mean, that's, that's a little more east, but um, Colorado and, and stuff like that. Like, I would really, I mean, I guess that's my biggest goal right now is I'd like to wrestle all 50 states. I mean, because I've already accomplished wrestling internationally. I've been to England and, of course, Canada, which I'll be at next weekend as well. Um, so, but I still want to go more international. I'd love to go to Japan. I'd love to go to Mexico, love to go to Germany, Australia. I mean, there's so many places and, you know, being at a place like WSU and a place like Shimmer and Femme Fatale, I've had an opportunity to meet 
and wrestle some of the girls from these countries. So, you know, who knows? You know, maybe, you know, within six months I'll be in Japan. Maybe in eight months I'll be in Canada. Maybe, you know, in ten months I'll be in Germany. Like, all these places that I've named. I mean, you just really never know. And, you know, if there's an opportunity, you know, somebody contacts me, you know, like, we want to bring you here. As soon as we get all the details worked out, I'm like, all right, let's do this because I want to just see the world as well as wrestle and have fun. And I'm just having fun. I think that's, you know, the best part of wrestling is, you know, it's something I'm passionate about. And I'm, you know, I'm six years in and I'm still having a blast. And, you know, I wouldn't change one day of it. I can see it now. Sassy Steffi taking over one city, state, country, continent at a time. I could definitely see it. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you have what it takes. I believe in you, and you know Ohio. We're gonna root for you. Um, you know, Steffi, I want to thank you so much for joining me. Prior to your vacation, um, I, I appreciate you. I appreciate the Midwest militia. Shout out to Allison and Jessica. Uh, just, just thank you for being on. Great talking to you again, and um, sky's the limit for you. Uh, I'll say it again for the hell of it. Sky's the limit. Thank you. <laughs> Sk- thank you for your time. And uh, keep representing OHIO. Keep on representing. Of course. And, and thank you for having me. And congratulations on your 100th show. Thank you so much, Steffi. You have a great vacation. And you have a good night. You too. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Right, bye-bye. That was Sassy Steffi. One half of the WSU Tag Team Champions bringing her presence here on show number 100.